Hi everybody, this is Stephen Roselle, Senior Technical Specialist at Autodesk, and I'm going to go over the latest My 2017 Update 3 UV improvements. The UV editor has been redesigned and we've added a ton of new tools. You see all that green that indicates that there are new tools and there are literally dozens in this release. So we're going to also talk about the UV Toolkit, which is a centralized location for all the various tools that you might need for creation, unfolding, transformation, layout, alignment, and so on. So there's a ton of stuff in here as well. We've also updated the viewport so that you can now get shell shading, not only in the UV editor, but as well as the 3D view. So let's actually go in and create a UV layout for this tree. We're going to use a tool that came out a few months back called AutoSeam, which will basically allow you to break a shell into multiple uh, additional cuts. And you can see here that if I use a low threshold, I just simply get a single shell that's spread out. I can continue to break this up by iterating and adding up or bumping up the threshold and breaking this into more and more pieces. Now, in order to visualize that in the viewport, after I unfold, you can see I've got multiple shells. I can switch between a front back facing shading mode to a per shell shading mode, which allows me to distinguish between each part and piece or each shell that I create along the way. And then we've got a variety of tools that we've added over the last couple of years that allow us to interactively go in and sculpt as well as do things like cutting and sewing, which I'm doing here in the UV editor. So you can see that recolors every time I do that. Now you might want to do this in 3D, so you can use the 3D tool, which is new, to do the same thing, where I can basically just drag over some edges or click on some edges and have that automatically cut my, uh, my shells into new and additional shells. So here you see at the, uh, the base of this, what used to be a branch, I can go in and begin to slice this and continue to add additional shells, and as I do, it will recolorize those based on the display. So we'll do another unfold, and you can see the packing could be improved. So we have a new packing tool that we added a couple of months ago that will allow you to do things like pre-alignment or pre-rotation and pre-scaling and so on, and a lot of other bells and whistles. It works with multiple objects. So here I'm laying out UVs for two trees. But you can see the trees are actually different sizes. So we've added a new texel density tool that allows us to calculate the texel density based on a map resolution and based on the size of portions of our tree, and then copy that and paste the texel density value onto a new object and then essentially scale the UVs relative to that uh, texel density. So now you can see with this checker display, I get a consistent texel density across different objects of different sizes. We also have the ability to measure in a similar way. So I can actually go in and grab a few UVs and I can bring up the measurement tool, which gives me a lot of information about uh, their, their measurement from UV space as well as pixel space. Here I'm using Isolate Select to isolate a shell and then using a new Select and Apply mode that allows us to simply mirror across a shell for things like characters or anything that has symmetry. We have a lot of tools for just simply flipping and rotating and aligning different axes, but we also have a new stacking tool which basically takes shells and stacks them together. And then you can see here I've got two semi-symmetrical shells. If I actually want to line these up, I have a new Match UVs tool, which will go in and point by point match the underlying UVs from one shell to another. There are a ton of other tools for, like I said, alignment and snapping and positioning uh, your UVs within your UV space. Dozens and dozens of improvements, so definitely check it out. Thanks for your time. Bye.